actually can't believe it boys ken carson has managed to do the impossible which is being honest he actually dropped on the day he said he would and to be honest he did not disappoint i really like this new sort of bubbly sound he's going for sort of like light-hearted sort of like that little uzi type vibe you know what i'm saying the songs like shoot and swag overload fit that vibe and also like that unreleased track that he dropped on soundcloud like two weeks ago they all fit that vibe and it's pretty easy to do so i'm gonna make it right now so usually you want to start out with a little plucky sort of sound so i'm actually going to do in three because i feel like serum and all of that they have like pluck sounds but they're not like as vibey as the ones in Dune 3 are. I'm gonna go for a decent little tempo right here. And then I actually recommend going in the major scale for this one because I feel like minor is just too like dark and this is like way more happy. And after your sound selection, you wanna look for a pluck that has like a lot of delay because even though it's a pluck sound, the reason I went for Dune 3 is because I wanted the soundscape to be wide. And you just wanna really go to catch a little pluck melody that's super repetitive. Yeah, I'm gonna just do that right now. So I just created this little top line right here, and now I'm just gonna add some little bass notes. Just, you know, get that real thick T-Next vibe, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much all I did was after I created this, I copied it over and then I just did a little switch up. So I moved this note down from a B to an A and I just like made it like go double mode. You know what I'm saying? Little X2. And then I just repeated that two bar pattern over and this is pretty much gonna play throughout the whole beat. You already know that we gotta hit that Mike Dean a little. Okay, so now that we got that melody done, I'm actually gonna copy over Dune 3 again. And I'm gonna choose the same sound and I'm gonna copy the exact same pattern to the next pattern. And then what I'm gonna do is actually hit that mic Dean, go over here and mess with the EQ. And just go like way harsher and like cut out a lot of the highs and stuff. So, so now you should still be able to hear a bit of the plucks, but it should be like a lot more like patty. I'm doing this because I still want the same pattern going throughout the whole song. It's just like a simple, really easy way to like switch up the melody that you already made. So I pretty much just took the exact same work, the exact same sound, and all I did was just cut out the highs, and now we have a completely different vibe. And it also makes it a lot easier for the artist to rap on. And if it's easier for the artist to rap on, that means he can make more songs way faster, and he can be honest more times. Alright, so now that we're done with that pluck melody, I still want to add a little lead, like a little jingle that just catches the ear, you know what I'm saying? Just to like switch it up. Because because even though we have two different variations of the pluck, it can still get really boring. You know, I still want to switch it up a little bit. So I'm going to go into Doom 3 one more time. I found me a little lead. Right, so I found this little race car type vibe lead, you know what I'm saying? It's actually more of just like an ambient sort of texture sort of vibe. And honestly, it works for these like really chill beats. So I'm gonna just find like a little simple pattern here. Obviously, we gotta hit that mic Dean because it's a little harsh right now. Even though it's really, really simple, I think this adds a lot, you know what I'm saying? Just because it's so like reverby and like has a lot of space, you know what I'm saying? That's really all you need. You just need a little pluck and something that just makes it like really wide. So now obviously we can get onto the drums. Gonna hit that mic Dean still, you know what I'm saying? If you want the little boost, you can just move up the mixer. Let's get going. <laughs> just have to boost the 808 like crazy. Yeah, you really want that hard 808, hard drums with that plucky, you know, happy, fun sort of melody. And that's how you really get that new vibe, you know what I'm saying? Hi-hat obviously is really simple. You can just hit with a little, you know, EQing right here. And then you just gotta lower the volume, you know what I'm saying? And then you gotta add a little bit of that reverb and then you're done. And these beats have a really simple hi-hat pattern. You just want that two-step going and then just add like a triplet here and there.
Got a little thick clap. And I just got these open hats right here. Usually I just play the open hats when the 808s hit because it just makes it like way harder. So yeah, man, that's pretty much the whole beat. Now we just gotta arrange it. So we finna hit that little arrangement, you know what I'm saying? Little, little pink vibes, little pink tape. Alright, so we're pretty much done. Obviously, as I said, we got the main pluck melody with no EQ for four bars. That's like our hook. Then we got the verse right here where I have the EQ'd pluck. And then I added the little lead. Just like switch things up, you know what I'm saying? And then we pretty much just repeat that over, you know what I'm saying? A pretty simple, really simple beat. Yeah, I hope you guys learned a little bit from this tutorial. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Comment what other videos I should make. And yeah, see you next time.